uh, since driverless vehicles are going to be a large part of what we think of as a smart city in the future, uh, the question is how do you integrate them into a transport infrastructure that makes it uh, easy and engaging for people to actually use. Sage Automation has been working on Matilda uh, for almost a year. Uh, it had to be uh, relatively easy to transport and set up. It had to integrate well with any sort of driverless vehicle. It could be easily set up and put in place via, via forklift. So it's a chance to look at the first mile, last mile um, sort of tra travel. So coming off mass transit and then from there getting you closer to your destination. So let's say we've got a large event, uh, it can be easily set up and you have your transport link. Uh, let's say for a sporting event or, um, or a festival. We had a bunch of technologies we wanted to put on the Matilda stop and employ that sort of mobility side to it, but we needed to sit down and think what type of people are going to be using the stop, whether it be what type of age, and then what type of disability and how their mobility struggles go on there is that people with dis some disabilities really, really struggle getting from point A to B and as a result they just stay in their shell. Ideally I see a world that no one should be scared to go out the house and go to the shops. There's a huge uh, interactive screen. Uh, there's also a range of features which make it uh, more accessible for Different, uh, different user groups to be able to use that. The next tram runs from Mosley Square to Royal Adelaide Hospital and departs in 12 minutes. Please consult the e-paper screen for more scheduled departures. So with the human um, interface integration, um, I've been working on the Kintrans software integration, so that's sign language interpretation and the IBM Watson voice interpretation. So um, people can ask the bus stop uh, questions and it will um, give them a response. We really had to think about um, obviously what sign language was being used most commonly, feeding that in with the IBM Watson um, conversations and so that people can sign language to the screen and then get the response they want. In the end, um, all this technology really is for the benefit of the users. So a lot of effort has been put into figuring out, figuring out what the best way uh, to use that technology is. Come and come to this trial and what we really want is their user, user feedback from it so we can improve that technology for the future.